Greetings comic book fans and welcome to Dude's Comic Hall. I'm Jason and this is my weekly video where I share with you the brand new comics I picked up today on the officially the best day of the week, New Comic Book Day. Uh, it was a bit of a rush today, I didn't think I was going to be able to get my books. Um, I got into, into the city centre at like 20 past 5 and my comic shop closed at half 5. Lucky the train station has this new exit that is just like the road next to my comic shop so like I dashed down that road and I managed to get there and get my books so um, and like this week there was nothing off the shelves everything was off my pull list so it was really quick and easy um, first things first I got a free book which is always great it's a, a issue of previews all to do with Secret Wars which is a, a, a which is like a good idea to give this away free um, as like all the different books they're bringing out for Secret Wars it has a little like you know like here we've got Planet Hulk and you get a few pages out of each one I don't know if all, all comic shops are doing this uh, but I do think that's a really good idea with this being the week Secret Wars comes out um, give away a free previews, let people know what's coming up and, and, and what might get people excited. I, I think I think that's a very good idea. I don't know, if, like I say, I don't know if that's a, uh, everywhere where comics are sold, if that's a thing, or if it's just my comic shop, but very good idea. Uh, so let's get into these books. Uh, 15 books I picked up this week, all off my pull list. We've got Convergence, issue number 5. Um, I enjoyed last week's. Um, I felt it was a lot better. Um, Still not great, but it was uh, it, it was improving. So we'll see here. From that cover, we've got uh, Warlord and uh, Demos uh, fighting it out, and so yeah, um, we'll see what happens there. But definitely, it was getting better. Uh, we then got our second part of all the Convergence books from last month. So we got Batgirl uh, issue two, which that was good last month. I actually I enjoyed this one. Um, I, I Stephanie. Um, I is a character I didn't really know uh, before. I'd not really read this character until the New Fifty Two, and I liked her version there. And so here she is as as Batgirl. So yeah, I enjoyed the first one of this. It was good. Um, we have Justice League um, issue number two, uh, Convergence Justice League. So that should be interesting. All the female kind of characters from Justice League, and Aquaman is going to take this version of Mira because uh, his, his Mira from the Flashpoint world um, is dead so he's going to take this other one so which is a bit weird but hey um, so, so I enjoyed the first one on that we've got Speed Force issue 2 which has the Flash versus uh, Wonder Woman from Flashpoint so that looks a bit of fun uh, we have Superman which is one of my favorite um convergence books love that issue number one so i'm really looking forward to seeing what we're going to get issue two um but yeah it's got a lot to live up to a bit disappointed we haven't got lee weeks who was the artist from the first one it's a different artist on this one ramond um let's have a look let's see if we can get a first name um no the, the, you, you know all these books there's never when you want uh, to know a name it's always somewhere else but yeah uh, disappointed that Lee Weeks isn't still on this you'd have thought for the two issues they'd have got the same artist but hey uh, hopefully that's going to stay as good we've got the Titans issue number two Con Convergence to Titans which I enjoy again this is another one I enjoy I really found the the um, pre uh, New 52 Roy Harper a really interesting character so um, I'm looking forward to, to, to seeing how that's going to go We're jumping out to Image we have Descender issue number 3 which I've been enjoying this um, there's like a couple of writers at the moment whose work I just really enjoy and I'll check out and give a go to anything they do I think Jason Aaron is one of those guys Charles Soule's another I think um Mark Millard's having a bit of a renaissance lately, as is Grant Morrison. So I think there's a couple of writers there that I I I will willing to check out pretty much most of what they do. Um, oh, Scott Snyder as well, um, and Jeff Lemire is definitely on that list. And uh, I really enjoyed this. Justin Nugent's art has a very kind of 2000 AD kind of feel to it, 
which is a good thing if you're doing a kind of sci-fi story because 2000 AD for like so long they've been doing some of the best sci-fi stories in comics so that's always a great kind of place to kind of go to um, but yeah I've been enjoying this we look forward to seeing what we're going to get this issue uh, we then have Jupiter's Circle issue number 2 speaking of Mark Millard and I really enjoyed the first issue with this. It was one of those books that took me by surprise. I was initially, I was a bit concerned, did I need to be reading Jupiter's Legacy? But you don't. Uh, this is a prequel to that. So, um, while you might understand some of these characters better, having read that one, um, you don't necessarily need to have read it to enjoy this. Um, so, yeah, really good really good interesting first issue. And a little bit of a Watchmen feel, the way the heroes are in the way that they seem to have like real lives and that like there's good and there's bad like there's good there's bad people who are heroes just as much as there's bad people as good people who are heroes so yeah I like I thought the first issue of this was very interesting and looking forward to seeing where that's going to go jumping over to Marvel we have the Amazing Spider-Man uh, issue number 18 where I think things are going to go a bit bad for Spidey uh, this issue it don't look good um, yeah, so yeah, I'm interested to see what we got there. Um, we then have the final issue of Hulk, uh, issue number 16 this is, and uh, sad that it's the final issue. Um, it says there's a bonus story, which they charge 4 99 for it, and I'm a bit sick of books, like I don't like too many 4 99 books in one week. But when they charge four ninety nine for a book and it's like, we've got a bonus story. Well, what couldn't we do without the bonus story and just have it be a regular three ninety nine book? You know, it's like last week with Fantastic Four. That, there was like, there's no reason for all those extra stories. They never added anything to it. Um, I would have much rather had the book be a dollar less. So, yeah, sometimes I, I it, that gets my go. That's something that really annoys me, but... Um, the main story definitely looks interesting as we have Maestro on the cover, so um, that, always an interesting time when he turns up. Because they have kind of hinted that this dark green version of the Hulk is going to be the Hulk that becomes Maestro, so that, that'd be an interesting thing. We then have in, uh, Inhuman Annual, issue number one. This is the final issue of this run as I understand it. Because I think after Secret Wars, it's going to be Uncanny in Humans. It's going to be the main book. So, we'll see. But I've liked what Charles Soule's done with this book and with these characters. And I'm really going to be looking forward to seeing what the status quo is coming out of this. So, that should be interesting. We have Rocket Raccoon, issue number 11. Um, I enjoyed last issue. Um, I kind of was thinking of dropping this. But last issue kind of won me around. It is a very fun book. And... Uh, Definitely from that cover, it looks a lot of fun. And um, now we have the book. This is going to be the first book I read this week. It is Secret Wars, issue number one. I know I shouldn't, but I can't help but get a bit excited. Um, it feels special. The cover is like, I don't know how you describe this, but it's re they've really gone to town, giving us a special cover. Um, so that's really cool. Um... Secret Wars, the original Secret Wars, was the first comic I bought regularly. And so it's always got a special place in my heart and introduced me to so many heroes and villains and was just a great book to read as a kid. So this this is going to have kind of like really have, have high standards for anything that's got Secret Wars on it. I'm always going to have high standards for. So... I'm looking forward to reading this and getting into this and finding out what 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 this is going to be about. Um, I know I shouldn't get excited because so I, I don't I don't I can't remember the last event that I read where I enjoyed it all the way through that it lived up like um, Spider Verse I really enjoyed but I did feel it it kind of got to a point where there was just too much Spider Verse and I got Spider Verse out before we got to the end. Uh, but that was a pretty good event, but there haven't been that many good events over the last couple of years, so I'm just really hoping that this is going to be a good book. Uh, some of the tie-ins look really interesting, uh, but you want your main book to be a good book. I, I kind of was thinking The Avengers Age of Ultron, I think is the perfect event book. It's a movie, but it's what an event book should be. 
because it tells its own self-contained story what, um, while in, and builds stories that are going to go on somewhere else so that you can follow afterwards. It, it g gave you characters, had a, a journey through the book and it gave you a self-contained story but also a story that was part of a larger thing that continued. So I think in many ways Avengers Age of Ultron, you know, the movie is the perf is what an event book should be. Um, so yeah, anywho, I'm hoping this is going to be good. I hope I'm not going to be disappointed and that I'd, we're going to get back to good events. I, I do think, you know, one of the problems these days that comic writers have is the events in the regular monthly books are so big now and on such an epic scale. How is an event going to top that, you know? I, I think that is a, a problem. We then have Spider-Woman issue number 7, which um, I really enjoyed really enjoying this book it, it's gone it's amazing the difference an artist can make as this book's just really uh really coming to its own and i'm loving the new outfit much more functional so my final book it is dead drop issue number one from valiant comics which i'm looking forward to reading this anytime you've got a book with exo man of war in i'm there so those are my books for this week i I'm definitely going to be getting into that Secret Wars. That's going to be the first book I read this week. Then probably Newman Annual will be the second because I'm quite excited for that. Then it will probably be Valiant, Drop Dead, and, and then I'll probably start getting onto the DC books. So th that's the plan anywho. So uh, thank you very much for watching my video. I will be back with a review video most probably at some point over the weekend. Uh, fingers crossed, um, depending how quick it takes me to get through these books. Um, and then I will be back next Wednesday. At last, I've got a day off on a Wednesday. So I will be able to get my books next Wednesday. No problem. So there will be a whole video up next Wednesday. So check that out. Thank you, as always, very much for watching. Um, if you like this video and my ramblings, please give me the beautiful thumbs up. So I know you like what I'm doing. Um, all that leaves me to say now, because I'm going to go off now, I'm going to get myself a nice cool beverage, and I'm going to read some of these books. So, all that leaves me to say is that I've been Jason, this has been Dude's Comic Hall, bye for now. Mm -hmm.